than just the performance. For Cassius Henry, the voice is his chance to start again. I had record deals in the past, you know. Uh, I got signed at a young age. I worked with Kanye West. I've toured with R. Kelly. Been on top of the pops. I suppose it's kind of like living the dream, isn't it? It's just something that not everybody gets to do. R&B in a UK style. That's Cassius Henry. What well, made everything come to a, I would say, a stop was the past of my little brother. Cassius's younger brother, Vivian, died from a heart condition aged just 19. I suppose I didn't recover from it, in a sense. He wasn't Cassius no more. He was kind of more in the shadows kind of thing. I'll give my all, you know, to get back into my career. Yeah, my little brother was a, you know, a big fan of mine, you know. I just felt like I'm letting him down. This is my way to make him, you know, proud again. There's a lot of things I'm thinking about today, you know. Obviously, family, friends. My main focus is just to try to deliver how I want to deliver the song. See if I can get, obviously, them chairs to turn. Cassius Henry. Cassius Henry. <laughs> the ladies like Cassius Henry. What's been your big music career move to date? Before this, I had the uh, I actually had the opportunity to be on Top of the Pops actually years ago. I toured with R. Kelly. That was that was a big deal for me. Wow. I am um, so so this for you then could be a big second break then. Yeah, definitely. I think it's. Got that potential, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. I mean, I yeah. was, I was, uh, I was in a group before, before the script as well, and we had a big, uh, you know, turnaround in, in, in Fortune as well. And uh, honestly, I believe if you're on my team, I think that could happen to you too. Um, I turned around because um, there was something in your voice that I heard that I really, really liked. Mm -hmm. There were there were little licks and little trills and runs that you were doing that that were really nice. But for me, if you was on my team, I would home in on the upper range, on your breathing, the way you're holding your mics wrong. Okay. Um, I just think you've got a really listenable voice. So is this where I have to make my choice now? Uh -huh. Now. Jesse, there's something about you. You seem like you want to <laughs> teach me something. It's fine. Look, if it's down to teaching you things, every single one of us on the panel here has a whole backroom staff that can yeah. teach everything. That's not something that just Jesse can teach you. I mean, basically, you just, she gave all her advice there, so you might as well come with me. Do you know what can I just say? One thing, 
Don't trust people that wear denim on denim. <laughs> Honestly, this is a great part of the show, is it's yeah, creative it's control. Decision. It's up to you, you know, you can go with the... Miss Bling over there. You know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna swing over here. Can I, can I just say? Yeah. He has four guys already. I have no soul singers. I got, I got four great vocalists. Guys. Jesse's great. She's awesome. Dan is great. He's awesome. One thing about Danny, I didn't know this. He's been hanging out in the studio with Teddy Riley's and the Pharrell's and the, and the Timberlands. Like, he understands production and songwriting. Like, I didn't know that. I think it's unfair for you guys to sit here and say how amazing and experienced Danny is. I've been signed for seven years, yeah? yeah. People think I've been, I've been around for five minutes. I haven't. This industry isn't about good vocals. It isn't just about technique and mic control. It's about learning who you need around you. You need someone that can be serious, someone that knows when to have a good time, someone that knows how to own a stage, someone that knows how to do a worldwide release in four months. Oh, she's selling it. Right now. Come on, come on, come on. All right, all right. The name that keeps popping up in my head. It's Jesse. Danny, not flop, bro. Good choice. Good choice. Nice to meet you. I'm looking forward to working your hearts. More interesting psychological games from Will. It's probably the most fun I had in a while. Send Cassius into Jesse's team. Yeah, it was quite a battle between me and Jesse for Cassius. Um, you know, she ended up winning this time. So she said, never trust a man uh, who wears denim on denim. But I say, never trust a girl who wears so much bling but sings about not worrying about the price tag. Not bitter then, Danny. They're ganging up on me over there. And the incredible vocalists keep on coming.